Welcome my dear learners for this course on control engineering. In this final module we were discussing on board plot. So far we have solved four numerical problems on board plot analysis. Let us continue our discussion. The problem number five states that determine the gain margin and phase margin analytically for a system with g of s into h of s is equal to 1 by s of s plus 1 into s plus 1 by 2 given that the gain crossover frequency is 0.82 radians per second is the system is stable is the question he is asking we should not go for graphical approach wherein which will be plotting the board plot and determining the gain margin and phase margin if both are positive we are recommending the system is said to be stable if both are negative we are saying that the system is unstable but here he is clearly stating solve the problem analytically so whenever he asked to is asking us to solve analytically we should go for the definition of gain margin and phase margin and find out whether both are positive or both are negative come let us solve this problem if i move for solution of this problem he has specified only one value for us that is gain crossover frequency is given omega gc is 0 0.82 radians per second so we, pe we people already know that gain crossover frequency is used to compute phase margin phase crossover frequency is used to compute gain margin here he has specified the gain crossover frequency hence i should use gain crossover frequency to find phase margin correct so from the definition of phase margin we know that phase margin is nothing but the phase lag that is available for us to incorporate without reaching the verge of instability of the system mathematically it can be written as plus 180 degree mathematically it can be written as plus 180 degree plus angle of the given function g of s into h of s which is evaluated at omega is equal to omega gc omega is equal to omega gc why we are taking plus 180 you people already learned in the board plot the reference for phase angle plot is minus 180 degree whereas the reference for magnitude plot is zero in order to nullify the effect of minus 180 we are adding plus 180 that's it nothing big here now with this let us move on and solve the problem you know to do that let me get the g of j omega into h of j omega that is replace s by j omega if i do that i'll get 1 by s is j omega this is 1 plus j omega into 1 by 2 plus j omega correct now i should find the angle of this at omega is equal to omega gc that is the angle of g of j omega into h of j omega is equal to 1 divided by tan inverse of imaginary part by real part that is omega by 0 real part is 0 right omega by 0 into tan inverse of omega by 1 is omega into tan inverse of omega by 1 by 2 it is 2 omega so this has to be evaluated at omega is equal to omega gc omega gc is how much 0 0.82 radians per second 0 0.82 radians per second now put omega is equal to 0 0.82 and find the angles so if i do that i will get the phase margin for this problem as phase margin is equal to plus 180 degree plus 1 divided by tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees 90 degrees into tan inverse of omega gc that is tan inverse of 0 0.82 which is nothing but 39.35 into tan inverse of 2 omega tan inverse of 2 into 0 0.82 that is 58.63 degree 
58.63 degrees so this can be written as what plus 180 degree take it to numerator it is minus 90 minus 39.35 minus 58.63 so how much is the face margin face margin will be plus 180 minus 90 minus 39.35 minus 58.63 which is nothing but minus 7.98 degree minus 7.98 degree this is negative so face margin is turning out to be negative so i found out what is the face margin now how to calculate the gain margin to calculate gain margin i want phase crossover frequency your phase crossover frequency is missing but we should calculate the phase crossover frequency we have specified only gain crossover frequency so therefore we have calculated phase margin now to calculate to find gain crossover frequency sorry phase crossover frequency to find phase cross over frequency now to find the phase cross over frequency rationalize the denominator of the given function rationalize the denominator of the given function and equate imaginary part equate imaginary part to zero equate imaginary part to zero so this is the condition for very very important make a note this is the condition to find out phase crossover frequency rationalize the denominator of the given function and equate the imaginary part to zero so rationalizing the denominator of the given function means what we have the function as we have the function as 1 divided by j omega 1 plus j omega into 1 by 2 plus j omega correct now rationalize the denominator rationalizing the denominator means what multiply and divide by the opposite of denominator what is that so j omega the opposite of j omega is minus j omega we have 1 plus j omega opposite is 1 minus j omega we have 0.5 plus j omega opposite to that is 0.5 minus j omega divided by multiply the same thing in the denominator that is j omega 1 plus j omega 0 0.5 plus j omega into the same thing that is minus j omega 1 minus j omega 0 0.5 minus j omega so multiply and divide by the opposite of the denominator if i have a plus b multiply and divided by a minus b that is what rationalizing the denominator means now if i rationalize the denominator what i am going to get in the numerator i left out with minus j omega 1 minus j omega 0 0.5 minus j omega correct divided by j omega into minus j omega j into j is j square j square is minus 1 minus 1 into minus is plus so i'll get only omega correct times this is a plus b this is a minus b a plus b into a minus b is what a square minus b square that is 1 square minus j square omega square again j square is minus 1 minus of minus is plus 1 i'll get i left out with 1 plus omega square so then this is of the form a plus b a minus b it is 0.5 square 0.5 square is 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus omega square 
is what I left out with. Now, separate the real part and imaginary part. So now to do that, I should simplify the numerator also. If I simplify the numerator, what I am going to get? Minus j omega plus j square omega square. That is minus j omega minus of minus is plus j square is minus 1. So minus omega square. times 0 0.5 minus j omega this has to be divided by omega of 1 plus omega square 0 0.25 plus omega square now if I simplify further I am going to get that is 1 by j omega 1 plus j omega 0 0.5 plus j omega will be equal to multiply this this will become minus 0.5 j omega minus 0 0.5 j omega minus of minus is plus j square is minus 1 so it is minus omega square minus omega square here it is minus 0 0.5 omega square minus 0 0.5 omega square minus of minus is plus plus j omega cube j omega cube that is what i am going to get correct so now i left out with omega of 1 plus omega square 1 plus omega square 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus omega square so therefore I will get the real part and imaginary parts as real part will be these two right it is minus 1.5 omega square divided by omega of 1 plus omega square 0.25 plus omega square next I left out with I can take omega common so therefore I can write it as minus j omega of minus j omega of 0 0.5 minus omega square divided by omega of 1 plus omega square 0.25 plus omega square correct so this is real part this is imaginary part now equate imaginary part to 0 so equating imaginary part equating imaginary part to 0 if I equate imaginary part to 0 I left out with 0.5 minus omega square is equal to 0 0.5 minus omega square is equal to 0 hence omega pc phase cross over frequency omega phase cross over frequency will be how much root of 0 0.5 so root of 0 0.5 hence phase cross over frequency for this problem is turning out to be root of 0 0.5 which is 0 0.7071 0 0.7071 0 0.7071 is the 7071 radians per second unit is very very important radians per second is the phase crossover frequency I calculated the phase crossover frequency so this is how we should calculate phase crossover frequency now use phase crossover frequency and find gain margin from the definition of gain margin from the definition of gain margin it is the reciprocal of magnitude of the given function evaluated at phase cross over frequency hence it is nothing but minus 20 log 10 of magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega 
which is evaluated at what omega is equal to omega pc now find the magnitude of the given function so magnitude of the given function is how much magnitude of g of j omega h of j omega will be equal to what so this is the given function right now numerator we don't have anything it is 1 so hence it is root of real part square plus imaginary part square it is 1 square plus 0 square divided by denominator root of real part square plus imaginary part square so root of real part is 0 imaginary part is omega square and we have root of real part square plus imaginary part square that is 1 plus omega square and then we have root of real part square plus imaginary part square that is 0 0.5 square plus imaginary part is omega omega square should be evaluated at omega is equal to omega pc now if i substitute and solve root of 1 square is 1 divided by root of omega square root and square will get cancelled omega is equal to 0 0.7071 0 0.7071 into root of into square root of 1 plus 0 0.7071 square it is 1.225 1.225 into root of 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.7071 square that is 0 0.866 0 0.866 so this is equal to how much this is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.7071 into 1.225 into 0 0.866 which is 1.333 1.333 is the magnitude now substitute to gain margin equation hence gain margin is equal to minus 20 log 10 of 1.333 so hence the gain margin in decibels the gain margin in decibels will be minus 20 into log of answer which is minus, minus 2.5 2.497 I can take it as minus 2.5 so if you observe the face margin is also negative the gain margin is also negative hence the system is absolutely unstable since both face margin and gain margin are negative the system is absolutely unstable the system is absolutely unstable this is because of the reason both pm and gm are negative hence the system is absolutely unstable in nature so this is the complete solution for problem number five this is how you should solve analytically the problems on board plot that's all from this lecture thank you all